Hello and welcome to a video by me, the Raji Pie Guy. In today's video, we'll be taking a quick look at the newly released BBC Microbit. By the end of this review, I will have outlined what the Microbit is, what features it has, more information about how to use it, and finally, some of its actual uses. So without further hesitation, what is the BBC Microbit? The Microbit is a small ARM-based programmable microcontroller designed primarily to give away to Year 7 pupils in the United Kingdom. Created by the BBC, in partnership with companies like Microsoft, ARM, Samsung and many more, the single board microcontroller has a mission statement of wanting to encourage children to get actively involved in writing software and learning about electronics. In the last several weeks, it has opened for general sale to the public and you can pick one up for around £13 from somewhere such as Pitt Moroni. So, what do you actually get for your money? Measuring just 4cm by 5cm, the Microbit is a lightweight microcontroller that features a Nordic NRF51822 16MHz 32-bit ARM Cortex-M0 processor with a whole 256KB of flash memory. As well, the Microbit features an onboard accelerometer and magnetometer from Freescale. On the front of the board, 25 red LEDs can be found, forming a 5x5 LED matrix. You can also find two user input buttons. In addition to this, the Microbit also features 2.4 GHz Bluetooth low energy wireless networking. A micro USB input is used to connect the device to a host computer for programming. More on that in a second. Also, the back of the board has a reset button and a port for standalone power from a two AAA battery pack. Finally, the bottom of the board has a 23 pin edge connector that brings out more of the ARM cores functionality, including PWM outputs, analog inputs, and interfaces such as SPI and I2C. The tech specs of these outputs can be found on the ARM embed website. So that was a rundown of the hardware, pretty much all of which is user programmable. But how does one actually code the microbit? As the microbit is a microcontroller, it has to be programmed via USB from a host PC. There are four official code editors, and these are all provided via the BBC website. You code in the browser, compile, and then drag and drop the hex file onto the microbit USB device. Then all you have to do is press the reset button and the code will run. The four editors are Code Kingdoms using JavaScript, Microsoft Block Editor based around Blockly, Microsoft Touch Develop, and also MicroPython. The last of these options is just a lean and fast implementation of Python 3. Also, at its core, the microbit is an ARM embed device, and consequently, you can code it in C slash C++ via the embed compiler. As with most microcontrollers, what can be done with them depends only on your imagination. The official website does contain resources that will help you get going, and there are many projects detailed there. You can find a link to the website in the description below. Something that immediately jumps out at me is the microbit's low power use and ability to run from AAA batteries. Those are some good traits for wearable tech. Now that the rollout to schools has finished, there also seems to be a good quantity of resources for teachers and other educators. As I said before, if you fancy getting your own BBC microbit, head to a retailer such as Pimeroni where you can pick just the board up for around £13. That's all I've got time for today, but if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye.